One year ago, this was the scene in Red Lodge as smoke filled the town from the Robertson Draw fire. Well, tonight, a very different story, but just as devastating, if not more, as streets became rivers. Governor Gianforte today declared a state of emergency while the lieutenant governor visited Red Lodge to survey the damage. And tonight, the community came together looking for information and help rebuilding. Q2's Haley Monaco was on hand at the meeting and has the very latest. One day later, the water that rushed through the streets of Red Lodge is gone, but the city streets remain looking more like dry riverbeds. The community came together Tuesday evening to discuss what the future holds. Members of Red Lodge gathered at Red Lodge High School for a community public meeting. While the waters have gone down and there's no potential for another massive flood as of now, the small town is now turning their focus to the future. Western Montana All Hazard Incident Management Team has been brought in to help with finances and logistics. The boil water advisory is still in effect, however there are no known contaminants in the water. Though they are not looking for visitors right now, Red Lodge is doing what they can to get the town back. Everybody's doing everything they can, so we'll get over it. Travel routes. Uh, bridges and access. That's our, our number one um, concern. Uh, our number two and equally up there is water and sewer. Yeah, it's, it's devastating to see the homes that have been evacuated, to see the damage to the roads, to the infrastructure, to hear that people are without potable water in lots of parts of the city. It's, it's going to take a long time to recover from. But you can see the spirit of the people, everybody pitching in, and they're going to make it. They're, with the help of one another, they're going to make it. In Red Lodge, Haley Monaco, MTN News.